Time to take your ones. Grab them. Courtney, wear them. Okay. Tatiana Matthews. I believe that Dred Scott should have been a free man. With all due respect to the judicial system, their decisions were based off of their lifestyles. Not only was it not fair, this decision just furnishes the fact that already known fact that colored people are nothing but alien, disenfranchised, and degraded class who are constantly mistreated. I agree with the, the, the Dred Scott decision because the Constitution stated that slaves and descendants of slaves could never be citizens of the U.S. or by extension of the individual states. So no one but a citizen of the U.S. could be a citizen of a state and only Congress could confer national citizenship. Also, the Supreme Court declared the Missouri Compromise unconstitutional because it deprived slave owners of their property in violation of the Fifth Amendment. I also agree with the Dred Scott decision. He was in slave territory, so technically he was not a free man. He had an owner, and of course he's property. Black folks cannot have their own freedom. It's just not in the Constitution. Asante's position on the Dred Scott case of 1847 is against. He believes that Dred Scott should have been free because the law that states otherwise was implemented based on biased beliefs. Right now, mm -hmm. here and Courtney are supporters of the Dred Scott case of 1847. They say that Dred Scott should not have been free because it was already a written law that stated that slaves, free or enslaved, could never become citizens of the United States.